Guys, that is what you're in store for here today. That's it. We're out here with uh, Lamar Bunning, and he is leaning on them. That's it. We're leaning on them. As you can see there, that's that's a hammer there. I mean, that's you take that fish there and put her back in the springtime and put an actual belly on her, and that gives you a two and a quarter, two thirty pound fish all day long. I mean, that's that's a hammer. That's what we look for. Five of these, we'll have an interesting weekend, I promise you. Five on Saturday and five on Sunday, and uh, I think we'll get to hold some hardware for sure. There you go, guys. Lamar's here. He's pre-fishing for the National Crappie Leagues Tournament. If you haven't ever come out and fish with us, I'm one of the owners. Chris Fuller's the other owner. We got some of the greatest competitors out there, and you can come uh, try your luck against them. In the meantime, we're going to show you how it is that they get that hardware, what it is they do, where they go, how they fish, how they catch them, what is it they're looking for, how fast are they going, how slow are they going. We're going to answer all those questions right here with Lamar Bunny on this episode. Hit that subscribe button and let's go. What do you think about it so far, Mr. Lamar? Man, I think it's gonna be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I've uh, been here maybe 20 minutes and caught one fish over a pound and a half and that fish there's probably 130 maybe 140 pretty fish they just as you can see just kind of poor coming off post spawn is all it is but i mean that's a good frame fish i mean they're wrong with that fish at all pretty fish Man, I think it's gonna be a good tournament. I do. I mean, it's full of fish. I mean, I'm fishing all over your screen. It get your eyes dialed in and try to find one of them big fish. But I think catching fish ain't gonna be the problem for sure. I think it'll be a dog fight considering how many of them fish I'm seeing right there. If they know what they're looking for and they can get out here and cover the water. I think it's gonna be a dog fight for sure. Like I said, it's full of fish, and I haven't had no problem putting fish on the screen since I got here. I've never been on it before, but we're just out here running, covering open water. A lot of these boys in the field are good at covering water, so this should play into a lot of guys' strengths as far as covering water and just putting fish on the screen. So you think just throwing the trolling motor down and rocking out? I think throwing that trolling motor down and kicking it up as fast as you can run it and still know what you're looking at when you see it is definitely going to be the key this weekend to, to this body of water for sure because... There's definitely no rhyme or reason to anything that I've seen so far other than they're out here floating in this open water, which is where all the bait fish is, which makes sense. Being post-spawn, these fish are trying to feed up and basically put some weight back on from being on the banks laying eggs. So they're going to come out here where this bait fish is. And if you're in the bait fish, you're definitely going to be in the fish. So you've got to get your eyes tuned in to decipher through all the bait fish, through get some trash fish in here also. But there's also some crappie in here too. So you're going to have to, Get your eyes trained to look for what you're looking for. And when you see it, be able to stay on top of it and get them to bite the bait because they are running. And I don't think they're running because they're scared. I think it's more of a, they're not sitting still because they're feeding. They're out here running shad. So I think you're going to have to stay on top of these fish. And you can see that fish there. She's just swimming. She's going to the bottom. She'll come up off the bottom. You can see her here. She's going to pull up right there. She'll pull up off the bottom here. Right down in there. Goes moving across the bottom. See, she pulled back up now. Basically, when that fish pulls back up, we're going to try to chase her again and see if we can't get a bait out here in front of her. And that fish will leave. Swimming like a jackrabbit. <laughs> left, right, left. That's the toughest fish you'll ever catch on live scope. Some fish that are out there running and won't sit still and constantly moving and swimming. Those are definitely the hardest fish to catch on live scope, for sure. As you can see, I do it a lot and she didn't got away from me. So if you lose fish on live scope, it happens. So so don't get aggravated. Don't want to kick it off the boat, throw it away. 
it happens to all of us. Like I said, I spent a lot of time on the water with it. As you can see, I lost that fish. So since I lost that fish, we're going to go ahead and find another fish. That's the thing about this lake. There's plenty of target. So like I said, it's going to be a fun tournament for sure. And uh, I think it'll take, it's going to take five good fish a day. I mean, just for what I've seen already. And like I said, I've been here about an hour or so. And uh, I think it's going to be a shootout for sure. That fish there is doing a little more of what you see most of them do. She's sitting there kind of just still and floating. Just she's hanging out. Just kind of hanging out. Those fish there are what I kind of call the lazy fish. That fish has probably come out here earlier this morning and chased some shad and got some shad in her belly and He's sitting out there just, just kind of suspended. I missed her. But she's sitting out there just suspended, doing what she's supposed to do. Took, took the bait. <laughs> <laughs> Bait's gone. But she's sitting out there just suspended is all she was doing. And that's basically what you're looking for. You want to find those fish that will sit out here still and suspended are definitely your easier targets to catch for sure. So, And that's normally, that's a crappie's MO, is to get out here, get still, and just look like a ball of sun or a pie plate or a basketball. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different things that people reference them to as far as how they look. But 90% of the time, your crappie will always be stationary in the water column. They won't do a lot of swimming and running and moving. They're normally sitting out there just, just perfectly round, sitting out there just kind of floating. And uh, I believe those are the fish that have come out, and like I said, have kind of fed up during the morning time. And they're out here in the sun now, and they're just kind of sunbathing. So they'll get out here and eat, get full of shad, and they'll pull up in the water column and just suspend. And they'll sit out here in this little bit of warmer water because the sun's been up cooking on it all day. They'll pull right up under the surface and just sit there, that fish will. And if you can take your time to get that fish lined up right, 90% of the time that fish will bite. Uh, that fish bite, I missed her. It happened. But that's the fish you're looking for for sure. If you want to get out here and target those steel fish. And uh, once you get those targeted and you're understanding what you're seeing on live scope, it's easier to go out there and chase running fish because you've got an idea of what you're looking for. Lazy one. Hello, baby. Mama's and granddad. A better return, a little taller return. Oh, she's starting to come on screen there. Yeah, you can see the ghost of her tail. Yeah, we're back in, baby. At least she's almost level sitting in the water, and she's being lazy. She'll eat. Oh, my goodness. Hey, she didn't go nowhere. She wanted it. <laughs> That's a pretty fish. Probably one third is fish. Each one is one third. Just poke on. Laid them eggs and they just are here now chasing. Chasing larks, trying to feed back up and get healthy for the fall. And the water calling out. Bait in front of the boat right Drop that bait out there in front of them. And just set the boat down and just drift back. Slowly pull that bait across. Yeah. Once again, it's one of those steel fish like we were talking about. She ain't no giant. But she was out there steel like what we were talking about. And you can see when that bait come across the top of her head, she nosed up under it and grabbed it and ate it. So, like, this is kind of one of the, one of, I guess, the biggest tips I would give anybody fresh in the live scope is when you're looking for fish, get out here and look for those suspended steel fish because those are the fish that are going to give you the best reaction on a regular basis. 
Uh, like I said, your swimming fish, they're hard to catch. They're hard to target. They're hard to stay on with a beginner for sure. But our steel fish, like what you see right here on this screen, get that fish there. She's just floating, sitting still. Get that fish out there in front of your boat. Get her lined up. Get her sitting still. As you can see now, I got my grids on. She's 14 foot in front of the boat. Almost to 12. Well, just 17 foot Ozark rod. I can reach out there at 12 foot. Present that bait to her. Straight up and down. I've got it right there on her nose. I just got to get her to play her part. There she goes. She's seen it. There she is. Once again, just like I said, target your stationary fish. Get out there, find your fish that are floating, that are out here in this open water. Those are the fish that have been active in the morning, feeding on shad, feeding on your bait. And they've basically been active. They've been eating. Now they're sitting out here just basically kind of like us sitting in a recliner at home. They've ate a good lunch. They've got their feet kicked up. They're sitting out here just floating. They're not doing a lot of swimming and a lot of running, and they're easy targets. So for any of you guys just out there getting started with live scope, your, your target fish would be a, a roaming, floating fish that's sitting stationary or a fish that is nosed up on timber. Those are your two easiest fish to catch with the live scope. So that's just a tip from us here at the National Crappie League. He's getting better. He got no choice right now. I think we took a wrong, wrong turn at Albuquerque. The fish are getting smaller. Taking better fish back that way, for sure. Definitely seen some better fish and caught a better fish back that way, no doubt. Big old mark right there. Big old mark. I want the best marks we've seen so far. He's out here doing what we're talking about. He's out here sitting station. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Air melt it with a 17 foot prototype from Ozark right yes, there. Sir. Put it in the boat. I can ask him about flipping them. It'll flip them. <laughs> Those pretty fish. Very nice fish. Big old mouth on it, oh, dude. She got a mouth on her. She got a little bit of a back on her. She just was pouring the belly. But that comes from them females. Getting up there giving us more fish to check. That's Some right. And laid on the edge. And We'll have some more fish to chase for the following year or so. Throw it back out there and let them go back to eating some shad and put some weight on there. All right. Well, Lamar, i got to ask this question. Yes, sir. You're out here in the middle of the lake mm -hmm. fishing the flat. Correct. Water temp out here is almost 74 degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you decide to start here? Man, I mean, when you look at this, I don't know if they can, they can really see, but along this bank over here, there's a bunch of pockets and coves along this bank. So those fish are always normally, they like to hit these banks and they like to push back in these pockets and these coves out here on this flat. There's these pockets and coves. Well, those fish will suck back in those coves or they'll go in there, lay their eggs, make their beds, and they'll lay. Well, the first thing they're going to do is come back out. So basically the first drop off or your first flat away from where they basically primarily went and laid their eggs. So with this being the main flat in the heart of the lake, and I'm looking at all these coves on this bank, I've got coves all along this bank here. Well, this is the only kind of transition area from each bank is this main flat that runs down the heart of this lake. So I pull right out here in the heart of this flat, and I'm looking for basically the fish that went, you know, have went in here, spawned, and kind of did what they wanted to do, and now they're pulled back out here and suspend. Well, you put this flat out here, and it's got the bait fish on it. Well, one plus one equals two, which is going to give you your fish that you're looking for. So that's what I'm out here doing on this flat, and that's the reason why I targeted this flat in the middle of the lake. He's talking about sitting out here just... Roman sitting stationary, like what we want to target. We'll get her eased out here in front of this boat and get her lined up. I'm going to drop this bait on her head. As you can see, she's kind of nosed up already. It's always a great sign. If I can present the bait right and do my part, she'll do her part and eat it. There she is. Oh. I'll say flicker.
necessarily even starting to get into the category of fish that we're looking for, I feel like. Once again, big old miles on them, they just, I mean, they hungry. They choking them. They eating them. Pretty fish. I mean, solid frame fish. That one's coming. The wrong one. <laughs> Don't want you. You want the other one right now. That was quick. Oh, wee! That is a fish right well, there, bull. <laughs> now that is a fish. Now that's what we're looking for there. <laughs> that is sure enough fish. Is that what we're going to find out here? That's what we need. We need five of them. Five of them, we're going to be closing the door on somebody this weekend. I promise you, with five of them. Sure, that is a specimen right there now. That's, that's a good fish, no doubt. Pretty fish, too. I mean, pretty fish. You can see, just a solid fish. <laughs> Does the guy know what he's doing or what? Well, we might catch one here and there every now and then. That's right. <laughs> Lamar, I appreciate you letting me share the boat with you here for a little bit. Guys, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and you're going to see more of the greatest anglers in the country right here. Yes, sir. That's a fact. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you coming. We'll see you next time.